Brody Walker was a priest in Space Sector 1 on the world of Estonia. His planet was dying as the sun Estonia orbited began to grow old and scorched his home. Brody, or Saint as his people came to call him, never lost his faith and encouraged his family to join him on a pilgrimage in the hopes of finding a way to save their world by climbing a holy mountain. The journey proved perilous and one by one Walker lost each member of his family to the increasingly brutal environment. In spite of the heartbreak, in spite of the pain of the journey, St. Walker told himself all would be well. He completed the journey, reaching the top of the mountain, only to find nothing. So Brody yelled and shouted at the gods, only for them to yell back. St. Walker returned to his people alone. As their society began to descend into chaos, while the world and its climate grew more and more harsh, Brody spoke. He read from his people's religious texts, and soon enough, they began to calm down and listen. Together they watched their stars suddenly become enveloped in a light, and it grew younger before their eyes. It glowed a deep blue. Sentient located. Brody Walker of Estonia. You have the ability to instill great hope. All will be well. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my origins and bio for St. Walker Part 1. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see Part 2 of this video when it comes out, as well as future content from our channel. Also, check out the video description for a recommended reading list featuring St. Walker and his history in DC Comics, as well as a link to our Patreon page if you'd like to support Comic Island. Thanks again for checking us out, and enjoy the rest of the video! St. Walker became the first ever Blue Lantern. He was chosen by two beings from a race called the Guardians of the Universe, part of the group who originally created the Green Lantern Corps. These two guardians, named Sade and Ganthet, established the Blue Lanterns to use and spread the powers of hope throughout the universe, represented by a blue light. On the planet Odom, St. Walker was granted the abilities of the Blue Lantern Ring, and named the Blue Lantern of Sector 0001. These unique rings could bestow feelings of hope in others, dampen the powers of red, orange, and yellow energy of the emotional spectrum that empower multiple other Lantern Corps, while empowering, recharging, and even strengthening the willpower energy used by the Green Lanterns. Blue rings can also provide protective force fields, enable flight and space travel, and after mastering his ring, St. Walker learned to create constructs out of blue energy, a feat that for blue lanterns normally requires the presence of a green lantern. Unlike most other rings of light, blue lanterns never lose power or need to be recharged. St. Walker's first task as a blue lantern was to seek out the next member of their fledging core. He chose the elephant-like being named Brother Worth, and not long after this, St. Walker first met the green lanterns in the form of an injured human named Hal Jordan. Walker healed this superhero, and when two other Green Lanterns, Kilowog and Jon Stewart, were affected by the red energy of rage, St. Walker was able to demonstrate his new core's powers by freeing the Green Lanterns from the influence of this unwanted strain of energy. St. Walker took Hal to Odin to properly introduce the Blue Lantern core to this Green Lantern. Hal learned of the Blue Lanterns from Walker and Ganthet before traveling with them to watch the Blue Lanterns save another dying sun. The Blue Lanterns, in an effort to prove themselves to Hal, worked with him in confronting another new Lantern Corps that had recently emerged, the aforementioned Red Lanterns, who used the red energy St. Walker and the Green Lanterns had encountered earlier. St. Walker worked with Hal to defeat the Red Lanterns, giving Hal the Blue Ring so that he could be freed from their power. The Blue Ring he had gained would be vital in later defeating Agent Orange, who uses orange energy based on the powers of greed. Though this mission was successful, it made the Orange Lantern, a craven creature named Larfleeze, become interested in the Blue Lanterns. And so it was that the Blue Lanterns were first truly tested as a core 
when Agent Orange and his countless energy constructs invaded Odin. They were quickly overwhelmed by this relentless force, and were only saved by the arrival of Hal Jordan and a number of other lanterns from the rest of the emotional spectrum, while Larfleeze's constructs disappeared upon their arrival. Though this seemed like a victory, it was only the sign of a much worse threat emerging. Black Lanterns, sinister beings who represented the powers of death, and had begun a deadly attack on life in all its forms. Saint Walker, Ganthet, and Saed joined together with a new group of lanterns from every domain of the emotional spectrum to fight Black Lanterns, and Saint Walker was a vital part in forming this team together. As part of this conflict, the team was led to Earth where all their rings were temporarily cloned to recruit more allies against the Black Lanterns. Saint Walker's ring was copied and found a suitable host, a man on Earth who inspired a particular amount of hope in its people, Barry Allen also known as The Flash. Saint Walker taught this superhero how to effectively operate as a Blue Lantern, and use this ability to empower Green Lanterns in combat, while they rounded up a number of undead villains who had risen up in Keystone City. Saint Walker was there for the final confrontation with the Black Lanterns, and witnessed Hal Jordan and a group of newly formed White Lanterns wield the power of life itself to finally defeat the Black Lanterns. Walker spent some time on Earth after this, appreciating the home of the many humans he had worked with by then. After rebuilding graves that had been disturbed by the rising dead, Walker encountered a superhero called The Question, at the time real identity Rene Montoya, and he remarked on the hopeful nature of the human race while looking upon a new discovery, the emotional entity that represented hope named Adara, who had taken residence on Earth. Walker contacted Hal Jordan and Lair Fleas not long after this, and he informed the two that Adara had found a human host. In secret, a being named Krona was hunting down the entities which represented the energy of each emotional core in the spectrum. Krona, a guardian who had long gone mad, intended to use these entities to seize control over the entire Green Lantern core for his own purposes. The mad guardian, in spite of the valiant efforts of Saint Walker and the others, managed to capture Adara and the other emotional entities. In pursuit of Krona, Saint Walker and the other lanterns were trapped in an artifact created by the Black Lanterns called the Book of the Black. In his stead, the Green Lantern Kyle Rayner used Saint Walker's ring to escape Krona taking control of him like the other Green Lanterns. Kyle eventually freed Saint Walker while he and the other humans were able to defeat Krona. In the aftermath of this disaster, Walker asked Ganthid to return home with him as Sate had already left to join Lar Fleas as part of a bargain made during the Blackest Night. Knowing the Green Lanterns needed him, Ganthet refused, and Saint Walker returned to a now leaderless Blue Lantern Corps. It was around this time that Saint Walker worked with an iteration of the Justice League of America on an adventure, working with the likes of Batman, Starman, and Donna Troy to battle villains such as Eclipso and Doomsday. 